So many of you will know that The Sims 4 Growing Together came with milestones. What are milestones? Milestones are basically a record of memories or things a sim has done or achieved in their lifespan. These range from simply being born, to getting married, to getting divorced, to having your first woohoo, to getting a promotion. For infants, this could be the first time raising your head, the first time walking, the first time learning how to dance. For kids, it could be the first time having your teeth fall out. For teens, it could be the first time you get puberty. There are a lot of these and they're very much cross pack compatible. For example, if you own The Sims 4 Werewolves pack, there's actually a milestone for the first time becoming a werewolf. There's also a milestone if you become an alpha or omega in a werewolf pack. If you won't get famous, there's a milestone for becoming a five star celebrity. If you won't get famous, also there's a milestone for having a good reputation, like the best reputation or even the worst reputation as a celebrity. Having said that though, there are are still some milestones that are missing that could be there but thanks to modders we actually have some more. This is a mod called Milestones Expanded. Not only does it add tons more milestones it also does some other things too which is really cool. So for example The Sims 4 Get to Work comes with two milestones with growing together. First it comes with a milestone for getting abducted by aliens and secondly it comes with one for discovering the alien world of Six Sam but it doesn't come with any others. So this mod adds a milestone for owning your own business which I think is a pretty big milestone in life like if you buy a business that is pretty huge so let's say we buy a retail store and here we go here is our brand new milestone acquired a business many sims dream of being their own boss and Shanice is cruising that dream right now my dirty mind read that as cruising is in like gay cruising <laughs> Another milestone this one comes with is going on vacation. I mean, I think going on holiday for the first time in your life is a pretty big deal if you ask me. So we're going to Italy. I'm going to Italy soon actually. I'm very excited. Never been before. Anyways, after we've ended our vacation, it says took a vacation in another region. She needs to travel to Tartosa on a vacation, which is cool. Now, not only does it just come with milestones, this mod, it actually comes with a brand new social interaction, which is really cool. It comes with some more things too. I'm just visiting a random household to show you anyways. Now me and Liberty Lee are friends. Under small talk, there is a brand new interaction. Ask about life milestones and memories, which I think is a really, really nice addition. I think it adds a little bit more depth to them. My past, uh, well, I prefer to think that my past begins today, that I'm a brand new sim with no baggage, nothing but possibilities. Another thing this comes with is social bunny posts. I can't stand social bunny with a passion. So I'm just showing you images from the creator's website. When you've completed a milestone, it sends out special milestone social bunny messages, which adds to the immersion, which I like. If you do own high school years, that is. The pack also comes with additional mootlets based on existing milestones. For example, if a sim gets cheated on the first time, it will cause a negative mootlet. But if they get cheated on a second time, they get a different milestone with a mootlet. So as you can see in the example here, another unfaithful partner. So it's like a special mootlet. And I think it's so much better because like getting cheated on once is horrible. But getting cheated on twice, like it is a little bit different. I mean, I've only ever been cheated on once. That was a bit of trauma done, but I apologize. <laughs> but if I got cheated on again, like it would probably knock my confidence a lot more. So I think it's a really nice addition. Also, with the growing together milestones without mods, if for example, your sim breaks up with another sim, it actually causes the same milestone as divorcing them. And breaking up with, you know, an ex boyfriend or girlfriend is very different from divorcing someone because divorcing is a lot more serious, I feel like. And this mod actually separates them out to make it that much more in depth. It comes with this mod, a ton of different milestones, you know, death of a parent versus death of a grandparent, publishing a book, scuba diving, win a gaming competition. Like these are pretty big things and I'm glad that they put that in there. But also it comes with some milestones if you own some of this mod creators, other mods. They have a ton of mods actually, a lot of which are really, really cool by the way. One of them is a dating app mod. So if I go on this dating app mod and I make the sim use the dating app and start a conversation with somebody. I'm not going, I'm not doing a mod review of the dating app because that's not the point of the video, but just to show you, it now comes up as a milestone created an online dating profile. Honestly, not just this mod, but I really hope a lot of modders in the future start adding milestones with their mods if they're gameplay mods. You know, imagine if Wonderful Whims was updated. So if you have your first self woohoo, there's a milestone for that. Or if you get crabs for the first time, <laughs> Imagine if there's a milestone for that. I mean, if you get an STI for the first ever time, that is pretty memorable. Is that coming from personal experience? Absolutely not. <laughs> My personal life is none of your business. <laughs> 
Imagine if the Extreme Violence mod had a milestone that was like first time killing a sim. I think that's a pretty big deal. I mean, that is most definitely not coming from personal experience, only in Sims. I'm only a psychopath when I play this game, not in real life. Although another really, really great thing about this, well, it's not the same mod, it's like an additional optional extra mod, and that is to be able to cheat milestones. So you go into actions and you can go into manage milestones. And from this, you can add or remove milestones. Now, milestones depend on ages. The problem with starting with a young adult sim in The Sims is that they don't really have any memories of a past life. Their life basically starts as an adult. And sometimes you want the realism of just starting with an adult because you can't be bothered to raise them from a child but you want them to at least have some life experience. You want them to have some memories in the backbone. Do you know what I mean? So I can add milestones as an infant, you know, born at a hospital, boom. Add a milestone, having a first bath, add a milestone, first time smiled. And when I view milestones, these come up as a first, having your first ever bath. Also, by the way, a lot of pre-existing townies don't actually have milestones. A lot of Sims are complaining that Sims in The Sims 4 don't have lore, but I guess with this mod, you can make it easier to actually make it look like townies have lives even though they don't have law officially. You can also add them by the way if you're current age so I could lie and pretend that Shanice Shanice won the lottery when she didn't. I mean she did. I mother loaded her loads of money <laughs> so I can add that on there if I want to but I think this is perfect basically if you want to give your sims a backstory when they don't have a backstory. I honestly wish they made it. I honestly wish it becomes an official update so all players can have it where you can randomly generate or assign milestones in cast for pre previous life stages to make it look like they've at least had a life and a backstory. But you know, with this mod, you can do it. I can pretend, we can pretend that Shanice Shanice was resurrected as a child. <laughs> Not sure where that came from. Obviously, like, you know, I am a little bit cursed while I make up weird crazy stuff, but like, you can use it for normal things, okay? The Cheats one is a separate mod called Milestones Cheats. Really, really interesting though. They haven't done it yet. Obviously, Milestones have not been out that long, so there aren't really many mods for growing together right now, but I'm sure loads more are going to come out in the future anyway. Upcoming features, a randomizer, allocate milestones randomly to a sim and give them background story. So at some point, this mod is going to be updated with a randomizer, which is really, really cool. That way, you can really easily just add milestones to sims. And I think it makes for great gameplay. Absolutely nothing wrong with a little bit more immersion. And I'm sure like plenty more modders are going to come out with milestones mods too in the future, which is cool. This mod has existed for quite a while actually, but I wanted to wait until it was free in public public access and not behind the paywall. You guys know I don't cover mods if it's behind a paywall. So if you're wondering, Satch, why is your mod review coming out like a few weeks late than everyone else's? It's because I wait. It's my channel policy. Although I probably will forget to link the mod because like I always forget to link them. <laughs> I apologize. I try my best to remember. Anyways, if you don't own The Sims 4 growing together, but you want some of the features from the pack, but you don't want to pay for it, there are actually tons of mods which basically replicate what growing together is. So make Make sure to check out that video if you would like to. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.